Howdy, 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 my name is Anashi Sasuke, and welcome back to Broken Age. In the last episode, we used this big bird right here to escape getting eaten by a giant monster because this girl's family and village are insane. But we need to go back and check on the other guy. Because he just found out that he can do other things. Apparently I have an advertisement from Indie Gala. Also, I'm not. I don't think I actually have to use my mouse or uh, use anything but my mouse for this game. She says it's a humidifier, but I think it's some sort of mind control device. There's an air tank attached to the top of it. Missions canceled until further notice. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so the reason the missions are canceled, Fram, if you remember, it's because. I attempted to kill everyone I was supposed to be saving. Screwed shut with these weird little screws. Do I have anything I can do about that? It works. Hmm. <laughs> what is this? What's this? It looks like an inflatable raft. That it does, my friend. That it does. Now what's in here? It's locked. What a dirty trick. Hey, what are you doing out of bed, Buster? What am I? Your prisoner? Just until I'm sure you're safe. You have no idea how important you are, Shay. <sighs> okay, doesn't look like there's anything really stopping me from walking around. I just have to not go to the door. Can't sleep. On a mission. Can I go back in there? I can go back in there. Hey! What are you doing out of Damn it! Buster? Oh. Okay, so I can use the space bar to skip cutscenes, but other than that... Just once, I'd like to see a huge flaming asteroid hurtling in our direction. Health stats 100% normal, as always. Maybe I'm the robot. That's no way to think about your life, dude. Seriously, though, we gotta find a way to get out of here. Ooh, maybe I have to put the raft in the bed so they think I'm still here. Can't sleep. On a mission. I don't think that will help inflate it. Nah. Gary is uncomfortable with that material. Nah. Gary doesn't like to grab things that can talk back. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Nah. Gary is uncomfortable with that material. But that's not Gary. Gary is programmed not to grab his master. It's one of the primary rules of robotics. But that's not Gary. Gary's a spoon. Nah. Gary doesn't want to grab that. I don't think that will help inflate it. Stay on alert. I think there might be food around. Always, sir. <laughs> well, that's weird. Seriously, how do I get out of here? This is about the same problem that I had last time, where I, uh... Feel like grabbing some shut-eye, Gary? Gary doesn't get that playing Binding of Isaac. I haven't played that on my computer in a while. I've been playing it on my DS. But I haven't played it on my computer. Wow, but seriously, man. What? Problem? Me? Creepy. Okay. So I was on the right track. I just 
didn't think I was actually able to do anything with that jar. Hey, an asteroid. You missed it. Hopefully, this looks enough like me to fool the world. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. The door is too obvious, so let's go in this tunnel here. didn't. The spikes weren't even real. The spikes weren't even real. What the hell? How have I never seen this part of the ship before? You came. Because you are done with children. My name is Marek, and what I'm about to show you is no game. Where is his oh, mouth? Drifting through the universe, eating ice cream, playing with trains. War has been raging across the galaxy. Between who? Between the forces that every war is between. Between the powerful and the weak, the tyrants and the innocent. But who? Does it even matter? There will always be war. We did not start it, and we cannot stop it. What we can do is protect the weak and rescue the helpless. Okay. Look at this distress signal I just received from a peaceful colony in the Talon Nebula. The helpless creatures you see have been imprisoned by forces of tyranny and may soon be executed. Damn. But yes. We. We have to save them. Yes. Yes, we do. I'm pleased you feel as such. We have to go tell the ship's computer. No. You must tell no one on this ship what I have just told you. This ship is programmed with one function. To keep you safe. Yeah, I noticed that. To help these creatures, you will need to put yourself at risk. In a way, she could never understand. No, you're right. She would never understand. So what can we do? First, we have to get to the Talon Nebula. This dude is shady as fuck. To the navigation room. I have near peace to where so we can stay in contact. Use that vent to avoid detection. Return immediately after you're successful. But quickly, young cub, we don't have much time. <laughs> Get out, you need to save the planet. Ah, the young master is the hell? with the space weaver. Where shall we go today, wise commander? Oh man, a real mission for once. This is so fun. This is serious, Shay. Stay focused. You can hear everything I say? Yes. Please don't say anything embarrassing. <laughs> This is the star chart for Talon Nebula. Get in the ship, dude. Okay. If I give the Space Weaver a star chart, he'll weave the destination pattern into this nav scarf. Okay, here. Take it. Some stars on this star chart do seem to correspond to the nav scarf pattern. I wasn't supposed to give it to him up here. Here, take it. Hey, Space Weaver, can you take me here? With pleasure. Okay, then. Preparing decryption mechanism. Initializing warp and wolf drive. Intake calibers in position. Weave thrusters at viscosity. Spindle at rotational velocity. Deploying nav scarf in five, four, three. It's probably safe to talk two, through the countdown. I just, one. when the games are doing cutscenes speaking, I try not to talk through the cutscenes. By the odds, we have arrived. 
I imagine I'm supposed to go here. So. It does look like a talon. What talon? Hey, well, yeah, I guess it does. Locked. I guess I have to go through the vent again. I guess it does kind of look like a talon, though. Okay, so... This door is locked. This is a stealth mission. Not safe to use the hallways, understand? Then how the then how the hell am I supposed to get off the ship? Is there another tunnel I can use? Time to save some helpless creatures. Do not touch those until I tell you that it's time. Okay. I don't I know apologize. how I It's just that I build them myself and I'm a little protect. I don't know how I feel about this guy. He's kind of uh really shady. How the hell do I get off of the ship if the door is locked? This door is locked. Don't see anything there I want to eat. Wait, 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 wait. It does wait. look like a talon. Hey, Space Weaver, let's go somewhere exciting for a change. I have been programmed to take the young master wherever he desires, as long as it is safe and free of conflict. Ah. Bring me a star chart, and the fabric of time and space shall be meant to serve your How do I get off of the ship? I feel like it's one of those things like when I the way I got the knife from uh, the girl's grandfather where it's probably really obvious and I'm just not seeing it. We should be in the Talon Nebula now. Great work, young cop. Oh. We're approaching the location of the distress signal now. <laughs> This is worse than I thought. The good news is their captors have left them unguarded for the time being. What can I do? Here, take these controls. Oh, okay then. You need to lower the shields so the boom arms can be extended. What? Go on, lower the shields. Good. Now wait until the boom arm is correctly positioned above the subject. Oh, it's a crane game. I got it. Great work, Shay. Where's the other the one? Boom arms will haul it in and place it in the auxiliary cargo hold. I should go see if it's okay. No. They must remain in complete quarantine for their own protection. And ours. You mean our diseases might kill them? You are wise for such a young cub. Now we must save more quickly before their captors return. Use the movement controls to position the ship. Uh. Go on, move the ship. Careful. Wait for it. Shut up, I know how to play crane games. Where's the third one? Got another one. Great. Now just place it in the cargo hold and... Oh no. What is it? Hostile forces have been detected nearby. They're coming in our direction. We need to retreat. Not yet. There's still one more to save. No time. We have to pull out immediately or we'll be destroyed. No! You didn't tell me I'd have to pick who lived and died. You want to be a grown-up? Get used to making tough decisions. Damn. No time to mourn. There's another distress signal. This one's from... Danger System 5. Are you up to it? Danger System? Shay, are you the master of your feelings or are they the master of you? Give me the star chart. Okay, so I'm gonna try not to have this episode be 40 minutes like the last one, but let's go back to this girl. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. What are these weird birds? What do you birds do for fun around here? Oh god! Oh god!
Okay. I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. I need to know whether or not this is going to make me die. So let's let's find out if this makes me die. Okay, in a manner of speaking. Now, who the hell are you? Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. What the we fuck? We take care of the nests. We keep stuff floating. Super important. Don't the birds tend the nests? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs or get too fat. And then, yes. This guy's kind of weird. Who's Jesse? That big blue olive you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. Actually, take my advice. Stay away. It sounds like the uh, the crazy squirrel kid from Psychonauts. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume. No, son. Try again. Jeez. Um. Okay. Uh. Circumference. Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Okay. So why am I not why supposed to talk, to, talk Jessie? to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the Preener Code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty, and it wouldn't be the first time that oaf fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Who speaks, cause leaks. What? Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Quiet, chit. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. Yeah, so it looks like everybody in her half of the game is insane. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense, mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float a while. That's that's creepy. This uh friend of mine escaped the maiden's feast. Really messed things up. She what? What kind of selfish monster would run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Yeah, they're Hopefully all crazy. The upcoming ceremonies and show now go more smoothly. We just had our maiden's feast yesterday. It was awesome. Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Well, she just thought maybe she could fight Mog Chathra instead of feeding it. Well, I hope they put her in jail. Damn! I hope I meet her someday so I can poke her with my stick! Look, I just need to get home right away. We have no way off this cloud. Because no one wants to leave. Uh. Mom says she does, but she doesn't really. Right, Dad? Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes. It's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, 
follow the stink? <laughs> okay, so they're creepy and they're assholes. I need to get to Mog Chathra quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Mariloft. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chip. Sorry, Pop. Okay, so... Let's see, what do you guys to say, this shoe lady? Careful! Ah. Well, that's not coming back. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Uh... What's your so, name? What's your name? Carl? Carl? What? No. Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Uh. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? Um. I think they're going to hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony. Harmony. Harmony Lightbeard, the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. <laughs> Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager, off with her head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. No. No, I don't. Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly, I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. <laughs> okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> oh. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. What or the I did, until you came along. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no, shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. Area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Who the hell's using chopped? Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. Uh, I why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. What? Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, my work. Do I still have that knife? No, I don't have anything. Um. I guess I gotta go find her knife in, uh. Path. Path. You path. You wanna help me kill Mom Chathra? Uh, Hi, I'm Mag... Mm, McGee. Hey, what's up? <sighs> Nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, Hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> Your dad's kind of Your creepy. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops. Did I say that too loud? 
Your dad's in a cult? Ah, uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. Uh, um. How do you get to the eggs in the high nests? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. <laughs> I have a ladder. Um, can I borrow your ladder? Can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? True. So, what are you doing? What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. With, if it weren't with the... for me, they'd uh, get dusty or something. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile girls who forget they don't have eggs. Oh. So why are they why gold? Are they made of gold. It's the heaviest stuff we have. Why would we want them to be heavy so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them? So now we're hey, out of here. Is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were. We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. Maybe. Um. Oh. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder, but it would have to be much taller than mine. Okay, so... Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only licks them. Yeah. Gah. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Duh. My mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. What oh, kids? But don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. Well, I'll leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Okay, so the mom the mom is coping. I like the mom's sense of humor, and I like their daughter. Their dad is creepy, and their son is probably the squirrel kid from Psychonauts. So, I'm going to end this episode here so it doesn't run over long like the last one. So, in the next episode, we're going to see if we can get off of this cloud place. And, oh hey, it's a knife of some sort. Okay, so we'll probably go after that knife. And, and the other storyline, we'll go to that other planet and see if we can save people. So, this has been Anachi Sasuke, this was episode 2 of Broken Age. If you liked the video, give it a like, and maybe subscribe to the, uh, the little picture of my face that I'll probably put around here somewhere. And I will see you next time. Later!